Hey everyone, it's Ross, and some of you guys have been asking me recently how to protect your fruits from pests and critters. Well, mostly critters and birds, things like that. And <laughs> what you guys are looking at is a scarecrow that I just put up. I, it really is bringing a smile to my face, not only because it's gonna help potentially protect the peaches here behind it from getting attacked by squirrels and birds, but also this guy has a lot of sentimental value to me. Um, this is the scarecrow as a kid that my grandmother used to set up at her house for Halloween. We used to go to her house for Halloween and my grandfather used to help and I think it was his idea and they set this guy up and every year he was there as a kid. And his name is Ginzi and he's been pretty much in my family for a long time. Um, all I had to do essentially, because he was already built, is that we stuck some really large um, sticks, really thick diameter sticks in each leg, propped them up, attached them to this pole here. In fact, we drove some rebar into the ground first, and then we drove in the EMT pole over top of that. It's a 3 4 inch EMT pole. We tied his belt to the back of the pole. We got the, uh, a little bit of that tree tube on there as well. Definitely not a finished product as of yet, but he looks pretty good. We stuffed him up with newspaper, but First, we, we uh, put the newspaper in a plastic bag and got his arms nice and snug, got his, you know, got some definition here to his stomach. His legs are also filled with not only logs, but also other pairs of jeans and rags and cloths. And then we got some gloves here. We, we attached them with uh, some clothespins here, you can see that. And then we've got a mask <laughs> and of course his hat. And everything is kind of either sewed on here or sewed together in some way and um yeah it just is pretty nice i think with the nice thing about this is that i can move him pretty easily um, i'm going to be able to take the emt pole out of the ground and then take the rebar out of the ground and move him if i want every so often he's just going to be the protector of my yard from the birds and the squirrels and um, who knows if i'll keep him because very soon I'm actually getting myself a cat. I'm getting myself an outdoor cat. We're gonna build a nice little home for him, probably over there by the greenhouse. And he's gonna be outdoors all year. I'm gonna to have to come out here and feed him, take care of him, uh, become his friend, and in return, he's gonna help keep all the critters away. The skunks, the squirrels, the chipmunks, the groundhog, the birds, the rats, the voles. Uh, you name it, it's going to do a wonderful job. But in the meantime, I figured because we've got so many peaches ripening right now, I just got to come up with something because last year I lost all my peaches at a certain time of the year to something called the catbird. And the catbird is a really, in, really territorial bird that is vicious, man. This bird, once it's here in your property, doesn't go away it keeps out all their birds and it is i'm telling you so vicious that it will really pierce through organza bags it can get through nets um it's just not a bird that you want <laughs> and it seems like specific birds will eat specific things so i don't have any issues with my tomatoes as an example i know some of you guys maybe in england have you know trouble with that um mostly my figs have not been really attacked by birds although they have very recently, so I'm very, I was very surprised to see that. But there's a very specific bird that comes after my peaches. Again, that's the cat bird. And I have all other types of birds that attack my red fruits, like my cherries, um, my strawberries, my raspberries, my blackberries, and also the blueberries. Pretty much any berry you can think of, these birds will go after. But the main culprit of a lot of these peaches, the pears, a lot of the stone fruits, even some apples, these catbirds will attack those fruits and they won't even be ripe at the, at the time. And that is kind of what had happened last year on my Alberta peach is that it bared very heavily and they kind of were like this. Not even had any color to them just yet. I mean, look, how, look at the difference between, you can see the Red Haven peach here in color versus the Alberta, yet as soon as the catbirds showed up, cleaned off the Red Haven tree, they went on right afterwards to the Alberta tree and I got almost nothing from the Alberta tree. So I'm really trying hard this year to get these birds away. Um, other things we can use in the yard for birds is streamers, things that hang and shine. 
um, fake, you know, fake uh, snakes, fake, fake hawks, um, fake owls, you know, anything we can do. Of course, Ginzi here is gonna help, I think, immensely with not just the, the birds, but also potentially the squirrels as well. So that's my goal. Hopefully we can get this solved. What I am doing is coming up in here and if there is any, any fruit that has been attacked, I'm gonna come in here and take this off. So that way we know that if these fruits are being protected by Ginzi here, we know that he's actually doing the job. So I'm gonna take some of them off, dispose of them. I'm not gonna leave them on the ground like they are right now and uh, we should be all right. So I've, I've been pretty excited about this guy. <laughs> I want to meet, just wanted to meet, uh, have you guys meet Ginzi here, talk a little bit about this, and uh, hopefully we will be in peach heaven. So I think the Alberta, by the way, bared so heavily last year that it's just not bearing well this year. And it's probably gonna be the same thing with the Red Haven, is that Red Haven's bearing so much that I may not get a whole lot from it next year. So we'll see, but I want to thank everybody here for watching and uh, just show you guys my new pal here. All right. <laughs> so we'll talk to you all soon. If you enjoyed this one, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe, share this video, and we'll catch you all soon. Take care, everyone.